Hey guys, it's Jesse here. So I'm going to go over today how I made this poplar and hairpin lay coffee table. It's pretty simple. It was the first time I ever put a bow tie into a wood piece. So let's get to it. And I'd like to thank Night Eyes, who's the sponsor of this video. They have amazing products from DIY to fitness to anything that you need in your daily life. Um, just small gadgets to make your life more organized and just easier to tackle every day. So go check them out. So I start out by using my router sled to flatten one side of the poplar slab that's going to be in the middle. I had a bunch of uh, poplar left over from a previous project, so I thought a coffee table would be a perfect uh, quick project uh, and use up some of the wood. I only flattened one side of the piece because I'll be running it through my planer to get the correct thickness. This is the slab stitcher. This is what I'm using to cut the bow ties with. It's an awesome template system with a bushing on the router so that you can correctly cut out the exact size um, with minimal chisel work. So after the bow tie was in, I went to my joiner, got it squared up, actually went to my table saw as well to cut it to the right width. And then I went to the planer to plane down the bottom side. Uh, I just forgot to film the table saw, which always seems to happen, at least on one shot in every video. So next I went through and I cut one and a half inch pieces to go on the sides of the big slab to extend the width out uh, even more. Now I went and glued up just like you would any uh, cutting board. Uh, I didn't use any biscuits or anything like that just because I didn't really need help aligning it with it being such a small piece. After gluing it all up, I took it over to my armor tool bench and started sanding it completely flat. So I usually start the sanding process with 60 grit, move down to 120 and then 220. Uh, I then raise the grain with either mineral spirits or water, and then I sand again. Now I use Starbond adhesive uh, to fill the gaps in uh, the little cracks and the micro gaps along the bow tie. I use the accelerator which hardens the glue within like 60 seconds. I sand it down and it's good to go. It's by far the quickest thing I've found to fill voids like this. Now I'm just using a Verathane oil poly for the finish. I in, actually like general finishes armor seal more, um, but I didn't have any left, so I just used a poly. Lastly, what I did was just attach the legs, and that's it. Pretty simple project, hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, it was a, a big upgrade from the old farmhouse style coffee table we had in our living room before. Uh, if you guys haven't already, subscribe to the channel and follow me on Instagram for daily updates. Thanks.